Let's continue our introduction to VEX and VOPS by looking at the add point and add prem functions. So as always, this project file will be available on Patreon, but let's go ahead and drop down an attribute wrangle. And up until now, we have been wiring geometry into our wrangle to work over. But we can actually create geometry just using this wrangle. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to run over a detail so it runs only once. And then the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the add point function. So let's go ahead and just pull up the documentation so we can take a look at something. So it is going to, it has two options actually. It's going to take two inputs no matter what. The first being the geo handle, which is normal. And then the second one is either gonna be a point number or a position. And they work a little bit differently, so we're gonna cover them both. And they're kind of interesting. So the one thing we do need to know is that it says right here, a, a handle to the geometry to write to is what it's referring to for geo handle. Currently, the only valid value is zero or geo self, which means the current geometry of a node. So we haven't talked about this yet, but the first input is usually, we've usually put a zero for that. That just refers to zero or the geo self uh, with a lot of these functions. So you can type in geo self if you'd like, or you can just put zero. It just makes it easier to put zero, just a little bit less typing. Let's go ahead and type out this add point. So again, we need two inputs, the first being our geo self, so zero. And then we need a vector as the second input. So let's look at that. Let's just create a quick vector just at the origin here. And we can press control and enter. And you see that we have one point that's created right there at the origin. Let's go ahead and look at the second way that you can add a point, which is basically just like cloning a point from another geometry. It I haven't ever really used it. I didn't even really know it existed until now, but uh, if you want to, this is a good way of cloning a point, I suppose. So let's just drop down an add node and we can add a point here and we can drag this kind of up wherever we want. This also clones the attributes. So let's drop a group down just to show that. We'll set this to point and we'll set this to a star. And you can see that we have this point in this group and we can wire this into our first input here. And by doing that, we can set this to zero now because this group is going to create one point here that's point zero. And if we look back at our, back at our wrangle, you can see that we have created a second point. And this point is basically just cloning it. As I said, you can see that we have that second point in this group and it's also in the same position as well. So that's one way that you can basically duplicate points. Well, let's go ahead and take this second or the first triangle that we looked at and let's create a second point here. So let's move this up. And now we have two points to look at the second function, which is the add prem function. Let's go ahead and look at that in the documentation. And this is kind of a lot. There is a lot going on here in the documentation. So we're going to need at least two inputs for this. And depending on what you're doing, you may use a bunch more. So for the first input, we need our geo handle, so zero again, and then we need a type for the second input. And this type can be a lot of different things. If we scroll down, we have a poly, which is gonna create a polygon, a polyline, which is gonna create a line, a tet, which is a tetrahedron, a hex or a hexahedron primitive. So that requires eight points. The tet requires four points and basically is gonna create like a primitive or a pyramid, I mean. And then you can also create primitives. So you can create a sphere primitive, a circle, tube, metaball, or a meta quad. And then you can also use these last two functions, but we're not gonna take a look at these because I've never really used them and I don't think they're probably all that useful. I could be wrong, uh, but I've never really used them. So I'm not gonna mess with those, but we'll look at the other ones. So let's go ahead and create a line out of these points. So we'll use the add prim. 
And as I said, we need to specify our zero or our geo self, and then we need to specify the type. So we'll do poly line. And then we also need to give it our points here. So two points are zero and one. So we'll put in those two points. And now we have a line connecting the two. Now we can also make a copy of this and add a third point here. Let's set this to just be over there. And we can specify that third point. And then we can also change this to a poly. And now we have a polygon. And we can also add in more to this. So if I wanted to add in a fourth point here, let's set this to zero. We can add in our fourth, our, our fourth point to our prim, and now we have a quad. So we don't have to necessarily create a triangle. We can create a quad if we want to as well. And then let's take a look at the other functions to add in the primitives. So I'm gonna delete all points because it only needs one point. And I'm gonna get rid of everything out of here. And then we can start to type in one of these primitives. So let's do a sphere. And you see that we get a sphere primitive. And if I type in sphere and put down, not the polygon, but the sphere primitive, you can see that we get the exact same thing with these sphere primitives as we do with this sphere and the add prim. So they create the same thing. We can also create a tube. We can create a, what all did we say that we could create? A circle. So let's look at that. The circle. We can create a meta ball or the meta, I don't know, is it meta quad or meta, meta squad? I don't know. Whatever it is, this weird shape is kind of interesting. You can create that as well. And as I said before, you can also use these. If you want to look into those, you can. Um, and then we can create tets or the, the hexahedrons as well, um, but they're, they're a little bit less um, and like they're, they're basically the same thing as the poly. Uh, you just replace it with tet and hex. Well, let's look at vops now, because this is a little bit interesting and took some figuring out to do. So let's type in our detail vop. And let's actually set our display flag there. And with this, we need to, we have our add point function in here. So we can type in add. And you see that that's going to create a point. And if we put in multiple of these, we're going to get multiple points. And let's just go ahead and set the second one up to be one in the Y. And we can put our add prim down. And this is actually a little interesting. So we have to assign these vertices in order to create a polyline in here. So we'll do add vertex here. And we need to wire in our prim num into the prim num and then our PT num into our point num for the vertex. And then we'll add that to our second one as well. And you can see once we've done that, we have created a polyline between the two. And if we wanted to make a polygon, we can just move this over, add another vertex and add our point number in there. And you can see that we get a well, this is this is actually a primitive, uh, but we're getting an open primitive. So we have one primitive here. If we come back up to this add prim, if we set that to a closed polygon, we now get a triangle for that that is closed. So a little bit interesting with this, uh, the point VOP or the VOP attribute VOP. Uh, it looks a little bit different and kind of weird, I guess. If you don't really know, you have to add vertexes into this then you're going to really struggle <laughs> to figure it out. But that is how we can go about creating or creating geometry using our attribute VOP as well as our wrangles. So you don't actually have to wire geometry into them. You can create it on their own. And we're going to look more into this. This is going to be important to know uh, because you can do a lot of really interesting things with this. I have a bunch of just kind of abstract models that are available on my Patreon. 
And all of those were created using an attribute wrangle. Um, I just created all the geometry inside the with the one wrangle. So that's just a good example of, of some of the stuff that you can, can do with it. So there, you can create all sorts of stuff with this and it's very important to know. And as you kind of dive deeper into things, it's gonna be important to understand how these functions work. And uh, we'll take a look more at that here in the future as well. But anyways, that is an overview of the add point and add prem functions. So take a look at the other videos in this series if you're interested in more, learning more about VEX and FOPS. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.